in whom also you're built it together for a habitation of God through the Spirit. A habitation is a dwelling place. It's where God lives. He's chosen to live in human vessels. The Bible says he has chosen to live in the hearts of men. This is the temple of the Holy Ghost, the Scripture says. Scripture says, if a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode or habitation in him. He began to delight in the prospects, the prospects of sweet, holy communion daily. He is the Word. He speaks to us through His Word and He says, I am going to bring my Word to them. I'm going to place before them my Word and I'm going to speak to them through that Word. I'm going to have fellowship. I'm going to have sweet communion. I'm, this is going to be wedding every day. This is going to be my bride. Hallelujah. He rejoiced over you as a bridegroom anticipates intimacy and communion with his bride. And folks, if you were really in love, you anticipated the time that you would have perfect union, that you would have time together. And the bridegroom rejoices over the bride. So shall thy God rejoice over thee. He said, I'm going to rejoice over you as a bridegroom anticipates the intimacy with his bride. That he anticipated the time that you would come to him and you would walk into the secret closet every day. The Bible said, I was daily the delight. And you would come to me every day. And you would spend time with me because I love you and you love me. And this is a marriage arrangement. I am married to you. Jesus came down to be married. He came down to receive a bride to himself, the Bible says. Now he turns and he delights in this anticipation of being one with you. One with his children. The Lord God in the midst of thee, or who dwells in you, is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing in Zephaniah. He anticipated when you gave your life to him, you'd put a song in his heart. You'd put a song in his heart because he anticipated the many, many times together. If you really love your husband or your wife, if you're in love with somebody, you want to be with them. You want to spend quality time with them. He anticipated all of the wonderful times of intimacy he would have with his bride. You. Me. And he said, that's where I'm going to live. I'm going to live in that one who wants me more than anyone in the world. I'm going to live in that one who anticipates spending time with me. I'm going to live in that one who can't spend a day without being in my presence, who would feel lost. But I'm going to need a friend. I'm going to need a bosom friend. Think about that when you forget going to prayer. The Lord is saying, here's where I abide. Here is my habitation. The one who hangs on every word I speak. The one who waits for a word from God. The bride says in Song of Solomon, O oh my dove, thou art in the cliffs of the rock, in the secret places of the stairs. Let me see thy countenance, let me hear thy voice, for sweet is thy voice. David said, and I will delight myself in your commandments which I have loved. He said, your law is my delight. And in Hebrew it means I enjoy your word. I enjoy going to your word, I enjoy hearing Scripture said, to this man will I look, to this man will I inhabit, even to him that is a poor and of a contrite heart and who trembles at my word, trembles at my word. If you're not into this book, how do you tremble at it? How do you tremble at the word of God? You were to be like the bride in the Song of Solomon. I sat down under his shadow with great delight and his fruit was sweet to my taste. You were the one who was supposed to say, let me see your countenance, let me hear your voice. God will make up to you all the years. He said, I'll make up to you all the years. I, I will start today, if you hear this, I'll start today 
If you will cry out to God, folks, I'm going to ask you, if you've been neglecting the Word, if you've not been in prayer, if you don't have intimacy with Christ, I'm asking you right now to cry and scream in your heart to the Holy Ghost. Oh, Holy Ghost, open my eyes. Holy Ghost, plead with me. Holy Ghost, I want to bear fruit. Jesus, I want to stand before you on that day, and I want to have something in my hands to present to you a fruit.